Egg collection is the, the heart of the whole of the IVF process. The patients have been stimulated with FSH injection for between 10 and 14 days. They've had their final trigger to mature the oocytes, that's usually HCG, and then about 36 hours later they come to the operating theatre. It's a fairly minimal setup these days and many people will use a procedure room rather than a full theatre. This is a time-dependent process. You have to be able to do the egg collection more or less within the right window of time. And then using the vaginal ultrasound, we're able to guide the needle to collect eggs from the left ovary and then the right ovary. The follicles are quite easy to see on ultrasound because they're fluid filled and quite large. And then using the sense needle, I can aspirate each follicle in turn. The sense needle is significantly finer gauge than the conventional needle. I think really there are three benefits to the patient of using the sense needle for egg collection. The first one is there's less blood loss. So often the patient will wake up really with only a few drops of blood have been lost. She won't experience any significant vaginal bleeding on that day or the day after the procedure. The second one, which is really important, is it's less painful. We find that when we're doing egg collecting with a patient who's awake or lightly sedated, the fact that the needle is narrow gauge means less aching, less cramping after the procedure is performed. And those things lead to the third advantage, which means it's quicker for her to get home after the procedure and quicker to get back into normal life, get back to work, than if on the second or third day after a conventional egg collection, she still has some pain, some bleeding, and doesn't feel 100%.